It has proven value, documented quality, and demonstrated consistency. And it has more widespread global acceptance than ever before. The United States supply of distillers dried grains with solubles, or DDGS, offers an important new feed source for livestock around the world. Here's the story behind how DDGS is made and how quality control is assured from production through delivery. The United States is well known for producing abundant, high-quality corn. This reliable supply serves as the foundation for the emerging industry of ethanol production. And while the majority of ethanol in the United States is made from corn, ethanol can be made from other crops, such as sorghum, barley, and wheat. Before any grain can enter a typical ethanol production plant, it must be tested for quality assurance. A probe is inserted into more than one location of every load that enters the facility. Samples are tested for mycotoxins and foreign materials. Thorough testing, documentation, and communication helps assure buyers that mycotoxin levels in the DDGS they purchase will not exceed the established levels for that area. The samples will also be cataloged as part of the quality assurance process. Once it passes the first screening, corn enters the plant and is transferred to a milling process. In these mills, the kernels are ground into corn flour. After milling, water and enzymes are mixed into the powdered corn flour. This mixture makes a pumpable slurry out of the corn flour and begins to convert its starch into sugar. The next step is liquefaction, where heat is added to ensure a mixture free of bacteria and antimicrobials followed by a second dose of enzymes to complete the conversion of starch into simple sugars. From there, yeast is added as the mixture is sent to fermentation tanks. This fermentation lasts for about 45 to 65 hours. Moisture and temperature are closely monitored as part of the quality control process. This is where the yeast consumes the simple sugars and converts them into carbon dioxide and alcohol, the key component of ethanol. The mixture then moves through a beer well and into distillation columns, where the alcohol, after being separated and diverted from the whole stillage, continues its process into ethanol development. At this point, the following production steps outlined focus on the refinement of DDGS. Whole stillage from the beer well is sent through a centrifuge to begin the process of removing liquids. Here, the heavier solids, known as wet cake, are separated as the remaining liquids called thin stillage are sent into evaporation tanks where they become more concentrated and form a syrup. The syrup is then added back to the wet cake as it moves through the rotary drum dryer system. Precise monitoring assures a consistent amount of syrup is added to the wet cake. Once the mixture enters the drum dryers, Final Distiller's Dried Grains with Solubles, or DDGS, is produced. As the DDGS is accumulated in storage, it is cooled and collected for transportation. Further quality control testing is done as the loads of DDGS leave the plant. These samples are sent to local laboratories, and this testing assures mycotoxin levels do not exceed established parameters for that area while also verifying the consistency of factors such as crude protein, fat, fiber, and moisture. Containers are also inspected thoroughly before shipping overseas to assure no contamination from insects or other materials are present and that the containers themselves have tight seals to prevent contamination or moisture from entering. Every load is then tapped and sealed in order to protect the integrity of the DDGS during transportation. Whether shipped by truck, rail car, barge, or overseas on freight containers, the United States supply of DDGS is safe, high quality, consistent, and its nutritional components are clearly communicated. Further quality control is assured through companies like the National Corn to Ethanol Research Center, an independent nonprofit laboratory and one of many laboratories dedicated to testing, research, and development for the ethanol industry. Dr. Yang, an expert in DDGS, has been working at the research center over the past four years 
and reports that one of her first big projects involved working closely with the American Feed Industry Association, or AFIA, to help standardize testing methods that determine levels of moisture, crude protein, crude fat, and crude fiber. Dr. Yang points out that in the past few years, they've seen United States ethanol plants establish standardized and consistent testing with thorough documentation to help buyers clearly understand the quality and nutritional value of the DDGS they're purchasing. Besides working to help standardize and verify the composition of DDGS, this research center, as well as many others, work closely with leading animal nutritionists to help optimize the knowledge and feed value of DDGS as it relates to various livestock species. And they underscore the United States commitment to assure availability of consistent, high-quality DDGS. Another healthy corn crop is helping fuel the United States ethanol industry. And while the majority of ethanol production plants are located within the Corn Belt, a well-developed infrastructure of river transportation, railroads, and interstate highways assures affordable and reliable access to DDGS right now. Today, America's DDGS production technology is well advanced. Nutritional value is predictable and accurately documented, and quality assurance programs are more rigorous than ever before. No wonder worldwide acceptance of DDGS exports has increased so dramatically over the past 10 years. The time is right to offer the world a reliable and beneficial source of energy, protein, and nutrients, all made possible through today's high-quality Distillers Dried Grains with Solubles.